So what we're looking at here is an, an invasive lobular carcinoma um, that has a, a relatively rare appearance in that it looks very histiocytic. Uh, so as you could imagine, they refer to these tumors as invasive lobular carcinoma histiocytic type. Uh, so right now we're looking at the tumor at uh, 10x. And if I flip to 20x and focus in here, it's maybe a little more apparent as I drive around that these cells um, typically have very finely granular uh, to finely vacuolated cytoplasm with large nuclei. Oh, sorry, uh, a little out of focus there. Large nuclei that have uh, vesicular chromatin. You can see some small prominent nucleoli, um, but the nuclear contours are relatively regular. Um, sometimes you might see a lobulated appearance and you can see some in, in this field where they kind of almost look like popcorn. Um, but this variant is suspected to be um, part of the um, pleomorphic invasive lobular carcinomas uh, with apocrine differentiation. Now what is interesting about those is that these tumors tend to be uh, ERPR negative, um, but they will still retain uh, androgen receptor differentiation if you throw IHC on them for that. Um, the histiocytoid variant also tends to be positive for uh, GCDFP15, though you don't have to run the IHC to um, call it histiocytoid variant. Um, this tumor in particular is triple negative, and uh, I, I don't have the, the biopsy here with me since this was a, this is a console case, um, but the biopsy looked very similar. Uh, so the things you need to think of when you're looking at a biopsy with a tumor such as this is obviously is this an invasive breast carcinoma. Two, uh, are we looking at just some sort of histiocytic inflammation? Uh, is this maybe a, a granular cell tumor? Um, and uh, you can also think about things like, is it metastatic renal cell carcinoma? Although the morphology is not quite right, um, as you may recall with uh, like clear cell renal cell carcinoma, where we really are looking for the uh, vascular, vascular septae um, and the, the cytoplasm really should be a lot clearer. Um, but this was just a really beautiful example. I'll zoom back out again to give you a little better look again just at how this this tumor looks overall. Um, so just don't let tumors like this fool you. Uh, always take a second look and especially if you have a, a female patient who's, you know, 60 years old plus, always consider breast uh, in your differential regardless of where you are, uh, simply because it is common in women um, and it does tend to like to go everywhere. Um, but uh, if you have any comments about this short little excerpt on invasive lobular carcinoma, uh, let me know in the comments below and thank you for listening.